Rise and shine, Mr. Freeman. Rise and shine. Not that I wish to imply you have been sleeping on the job. No one is more deserving of a rest, and all the effort in the world would have gone to waste until... Well, let's just say your hour has come again. The right man in the wrong place can make all the difference in the world. So wake up, Mr. Freeman. Wake up and smell the ashes. I didn't see you get on. No matter how many times I've been relocated, I never get used to it. chosen to relocate to one of our finest remaining urban centers. I thought so much of City 17 that I elected to establish my administration here in the citadel so thoughtfully provided by our benefactors. I've been proud to call City 17 my home. And so, whether you are here to stay or passing through on your way to parts unknown, welcome. City 17. It's safer here. Look at this stuff. It's all I have left. <laughs> all right, I'm over. Right. Jeez. Were you the only ones on that train? Overwatch stopped our train in the woods and Welcome. took my husband for questioning. Welcome to City they said he'd be on the next train. You have chosen I'm not sure when that was. To Did there, to there be nice, though, letting me wait for him? I thought so much of City 17 that I elected to establish my administration here in the citadel so thoughtfully provided by our benefactors. I've been proud to call City 17 my home. And so, whether you are here to stay or passing through on your way to parts of the old Don't drink the water. They put something in it to, to make you forget. I don't even remember how I got here. They never leave. You never see them go. They're always full. No one ever gets on, but they're always... I see, they took your suitcase, too. They can't get away with this much longer. I'm working up the nerve to go on. Dr. Breen again? Welcome. I was hoping I'd seen the last of him in Welcome City 14. City I wouldn't say that too loud. You this is the base of operations. You have been chosen to relocate to one of our finest remaining urban centers. I thought so much of City 17 that I elected to establish my administration here in the citadel so thoughtfully provided by our benefactors. And so, whether you are here to stay or passing through on your way to parts unknown, welcome to City 17. It's safer. This must be a mistake. I got a standard relocation coupon just like everybody else. A 
about that beer I owed you. It's me, Gordon. Barney from Black Mesa. Hey, sorry for the scare. I had to put on a show for the cameras. I've been working undercover with civil protection. I can't take too long or they'll get suspicious. I'm way behind on my beating quota. Yes, Barney, what is it? I'm in the middle of a critical test. Sorry, Doc, but look who's here. Great Scott! Gordon Freeman! I expected more warning. Yeah, you and me both, Doc. He was about to board the Express to Nova Prospect. Well, Barney, what do you intend? I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Alex is around here, somewhere. She would have a better idea how to get him here. Well, as long as he stays away from checkpoints, we should be okay. Listen, I gotta go, Doc. We're taking enough chances as it is. Very well. And, uh, Gordon? Good to see you. Okay, Gordon. You're gonna have to make your own way to Dr. Kleiner's lab. Oh, man, that's what I was afraid of. Get in here, Gordon, before you blow my cover. Pile up some stuff to get through that window and keep going till you're in the plaza. I'll meet up with you later. Your question touches on one of the basic biological interests. All its associated hopes and fears for the future of the species. I also detect some unspoken questions. Do our benefactors really know what's best for us? What gives them the right to make this kind of decision for mankind? Will they ever deactivate the suppression field and let us plead for it? starts. First the building, then the whole block. They have no reason to come to our place. Don't worry, they'll find one. Are you knocking? I didn't even know he still had a door. Oh, oh, I thought you were a cop. He's one of us. You can come down there. I told you they'd be coming for us next. Just this once, I hope you're wrong.
When is it all going to end? Don't worry. Please. It's all right. Attention, residents. Miss Count detected in your block. Cooperation with your city protection. Head for the roof. There's no time to lose. Citizen noted. Priority identification check in progress. Assemble in your designated inspection position. Get in here, quick! Keep moving, head for the roof! Dr. Freeman, I presume. Attention. I better hurry. hurry. The Combine can be slow to wake, but once they're up, you don't want to get in their way. Dr. Kleiner said you'd be coming this way. <laughs> I don't think it occurred to him that you might not have a map. I'm Alex Vance. My father worked with you back in Black Mesa. I'm sure you don't remember me, though. Man, a few words, aren't you? Remember him from Black Mesa? Your old administrator. <laughs> don't get my dad started on Dr. Breen. Through here. Come on, Gordon. This way, Gordon. Come on, Gordon. Funny you showing up on this day in particular. We've been helping people escape the city on foot. It's a dangerous route to my father's lab, through the old canals. Today, we're finally on the verge of having a better way. <laughs> Here, let me buy you a drink. Oh, and by the way, nice to finally meet you. Lamar! Come out of there! Uh-oh, everything all right, Dr. Kleiner? Oh, hello, Alex. Well, uh, almost all right. Lamar has gotten out of her crate again. If I didn't know better, I'd suspect Barney of trapping and... My goodness. Gordon Freeman. 
It really is you, isn't it? I found him wandering around outside. Bit of a troublemaker, isn't he? We owe a great deal to Dr. Freeman, even if trouble does tend to follow in his wake. I must say, Gordon, you come at a very opportune time. Alex has just installed the final piece for our resurrected teleport. I can't take any credit for the breakthrough, Doctor. Nonsense. Your talents surpass your loveliness. <laughs> Let's just see if this thing works, okay? Well, is he here? There you are. Man, Gordon, you stirred up the hive. We can't keep him here long, Doc. It'll jeopardize everything we've worked for. Don't worry. He's coming with me. Uh, that's right, Barney. This is a red-letter day. We'll inaugurate the new teleport with a double transmission. You mean it's working? For real this time? Because I still have nightmares about that cat. No, no. There's nothing to be nervous what about. What cat? We've made major strides since then. Major strides. What cat? Doc, since he's not taking the streets, you might as well get him out of his civvies. What? Oh, dear. You're right. I almost forgot. Barney? I'll give you the honor. <laughs> I've got to get back on my shift, but okay. Here we go. Ah! Damn it, get it off me! Lamar, there you are. I thought you got rid of that pest. Certainly not. Never fear, Gordon. She's de-beaked and completely harmless. The worst she might do is attempt to couple with your head fruitlessly. Get that thing away from me! Here, my pet. Hop up. No, not up there! No, no! Careful, Lamar. Those are quite fragile! Oh, fie. It'll be another week before I can coax her out of there. Yeah, longer if we're lucky. <laughs> Barney! You're not an animal person. Ugh. Well, Gordon, go ahead. Slip into your suit now. Well, Gordon, I see your HEV suit still fits you like a glove. At least, the glove parts do. I've made a few modifications, but I'll just acquaint you with the essentials. Now, let's see. The Mark V hazardous environment suit has been redesigned for comfort and utility. Oh, dear. Doc, we don't have time for this. At least get that suit juiced up, Gordon. Good idea. There's a charger on the wall. I've modified your suit to draw power from Combine energy outlets, which are plentiful wherever they patrol. Meanwhile, let's get this show on the road. Well, come on. Dr. Kleiner's waiting. Gordon, why don't you position yourself near the panel over there and wait for my work? Isaac, are you there? Yes, yes, Eli. Bit of a holdup on this end. You'll never guess who found his way into our lab this morning. <laughs> That's not who I think it is. Indeed it is, and it's our intention to send him packing straight away in the company of your lovely daughter. Are you ready for us, Dad? You're all set on this end. Then let's do it. Let's see. The massless field flux should self-limit, and I've clamped the manifold parameters to C1 base and LT orbifold Hilbert inclusive. Conditions could hardly be more ideal. That's what you said last time. Hey, uh, yeah, about that cat. Initializing in three... Two, one. No, fiddlesticks. What now? Uh, Doctor. Excellent. You gonna let Gordon throw the switch? Gordon, go right ahead. Very good. Final sequence. Commencing now. I can't look.
Did it work? See for yourself. Hey, Doc. <sighs> Thank goodness. My relief is almost palpable. Fantastic work, is it? Well, I can't take all the credit. Dr. Freeman proved an able assistant. Let's go ahead and bring Gordon through now. Right you are. Speak to you again in a few moments. Good job, Gordon. Throwing that switch and all. I can see your MIT education really pays for itself. All right, Barney. Your turn. Gee, thanks. Gordon, as soon as you're in position, we'll send you to Eli's. And not a moment too soon. Excellent. Initializing in three, two, one. Uh, Barney, if you'd be so kind. Good luck out there, Gordon. Yes, indeed. We're ready to project you, Gordon. Bon voyage, and best of luck in your future endeavors. Final sequence. The hell? What is it? It's your freaking head humper! Hey, Gordon! The Citadel's on full alert. I've never seen it lit up like that. Get out of City 17 as fast as you can, Gordon. Take the old canals, right? They'll get you to Eli's lab. It's, it's a dangerous route, but there's a whole network of refugees, and they'll help you if they can. I'd come with you, but I gotta look after Dr. Kleiner. Oh, and before I forget, I think you dropped this back in Black Mesa. Good luck out there, buddy. You're gonna need it.
God! Guess those sirens are for you, huh? Good thing you found us. You're not the first to come through here by This is the free man. The Combine's reckoning has come. Look, we're just a lookout for the Underground Railroad. Main station's right around the corner. They'll get you started on the right foot. Meanwhile, let my Vortigaunt friend here give you a jolt to get you going. Be careful now. We really can't afford to get noticed. Civil protection catches you down here. It's bad news for the whole railroad. We serve the same history. Attention, community. Better get going. 
Unrest procedures code is now in effect. Inoculate. Shield. Pacify. Unidentified person of interest. Confirm your civil status with local protection team immediately. Hey, over here! Help! Citizen reminder. In action. Report counter to a civil protection team immediately. Going, friend. That station was raided, but there's others up ahead. I'm gonna stay here in case any others come through. Gotta keep the railway alive.
Get in here, hurry! Civil protection is on to us. We're tearing up the railroad, covering our tracks. Looks like you're gonna be the last one through. Be glad you're not the guy they're looking for. Poor bastard doesn't stand a chance. Sounds like they're calling in every CP unit in City 17. Now they're flooding the areas up ahead with manhacks. You better get going before they sweep through here. Oh shit! Too late! Close call. Thanks for your help. Look, it isn't safe here. Now I'll give you some supplies to keep you going, and you really gotta go. systems engaged. Morphine administered.
Let's <laughs> go. 
aren't you? We got word you were coming. You got here at a bad time. Black Mesa East to Station 6. Do you read? Dr. Freeman is on his way down river. Lend him the airboat and give him all the help you can. Repeat, Gordon Freeman has returned. It is critical he reaches Black Mesa East. We've got some ammo in those crates over there. Help yourself to supplies and keep moving. Been hoping you'd show up. Got this airboat all gassed up and ready to go. It's gonna be tough dodging civil protection out there in the open, but drive hard and you'll make it. You'll find more help up at Station 7. Just a few bends up the river. It's the old red barn. Climb on in and fire her up.
disruptor in our midst. One who has acquired an almost messianic reputation in the minds of certain citizens. His figure is synonymous with the darkest urges of instinct, ignorance, and decay. Some of the worst excesses of the Black Mesa incident have been laid directly at his feet. And yet unsophisticated minds continue to imbue him with romantic power, giving him such dangerous poetic labels as the one free man, the opener of the way. Let me remind all citizens of the dangers of magical thinking. We have scarcely begun to climb from the dark pit of our species' evolution. Let us not slide backward into oblivion, just as we have finally begun to see the light. If you see this so-called free man, report him. Civic deeds do not go unrewarded, and contrarywise, complicity with his cause will not go unpunished. Be wise. Be safe. Be aware.
aren't you? Well, I wouldn't believe it if I couldn't see with my own eyes. Dr. Gordon Freeman himself. You're just in time, Doc. We gotta move out before the Combine picks us up. We're just getting ready to pull out. down this camp and get out of here. Greetings to the Freeman. Come on in. I'll show you what you're up against. Here, take a look at this. This here is the dam. It's just up ahead. Eli's hideout is here, a stone's throw from the apron and nestled in the old hydro plant. But getting there, with that hunter chopper on your ass, next to impossible. Good news is, the Vortigaunt's working his magic on your airboat, so you'll have a little more firepower going forward. I think he's just finishing up now. Go on out. There we are. That gun came off one of the same hunter choppers that you're up against. I always like to bring a little irony to a firefight. Take that chopper down, and you should be able to tear on through the Elon's place. The Freeman will accept this weapon, or suffer greatly on the road ahead. Farewell, Dr. Freeman. Give him hell, Doc.
It's human. Hello? Take it easy in there. You're safe now. You'll have to forgive the scanning process. We can't take any chances. Dr. Freeman? Gordon Freeman? Is that you? You've made it here this quickly. Well, Eli is going to be amazed, not to mention relieved. I'm Dr. Mossman, Dr. Judith Mossman. I've been hearing about you since long before the Black Mesa incident. Oh, Black Mesa. I do so envy you working with Eli and Dr. Clyder when they are at the top of their field. Ah, there we go. You can come through now. I'll take you down to Eli right away. He would never forgive me if I kept you waiting. <laughs> We could certainly use the extra help around here. We've covered a lot of ground in the last few months, but things would go so much faster if we had more people with your training. We're closing in on a reliable local teleport technology, something the Combine still hasn't mastered. Eli thinks their portals are string-based, similar to our Kalabi Yao model, but they've failed to factor in the dark energy equations. They can tunnel through from their universe, but once they're here, they're dependent on local transportation. If they knew what we were doing with entanglement... Oh. <laughs> Listen to me. I sound like a postdoc. I'm just so excited to think that we'll finally have the chance to work together. Where was I? Oh, yes. Dr. Kleiner compressed the Zen relay far beyond anything he imagined at Black Mesa. We figured out how to use Zen as an unexpressed axis, effectively a dimensional slingshot, so we can swing around the border world and come back in local space without having to pass through. Oh, here's a Eli now. All right, good. You keep right on. Eli, look who I found in the airlock. Gordon Freeman. <laughs> Let me get a look at you, man. My God, you haven't changed one iota. How do you do it? Now, let's see. The last time I saw you, I sent you up for help after the Resonance Cascade. <laughs> I never thought it would take you this long to get back to me. Welcome to the lab, anyway. It's not Black Mesa, but it served us well enough. It's going to be a lot more like Black Mesa with Gordon here to help. Right you are. MIT graduates are few and far between these days. We'll get you out of that hazard suit and back into your lab coat where you belong. Let me just finish up some work and I'll see what I can dig up. Dr. Freeman, it's been a real honor. I'm looking forward to working together. Feel free to look around. You remember my wife, Ozian, don't you? That picture and Alex were all I managed to carry out of Black Mesa. Oh, Dr. Freeman, you should stay with Eli. Go on, I'll rejoin you shortly. Fine scientist, Judith. She was up for your job at Black Mesa, but you edged her out with your Innsbruck experience. Oh, Gordon. The Vortigaunt said you were here. I can't believe you made it so quickly on foot. I believe he broke your record, honey. Well, he earned it. I guess you proved you can handle yourself out there. There's nothing Gordon can't handle, with the possible exception of you. Dad, please. Uh... Take a look at this, Gordon. Dr. 
Mr. Breen. He's the administrator of this whole vile business now. He ended the Seven Hours War by managing Earth's surrender. The Combine rewarded him with power. We're still not sure what that does. Alex brings in the strangest things. We've almost got that portal working again. But I wouldn't blame you if you didn't volunteer for the next trial run. The Vortigaunts relieved me so I could come see Gordon. Anyway, I should be in here, working on the portal. I have the repairs well in hand. Someone misjudged the capacity of the Combine Thyristor. <laughs> Are you blaming me? No, not at all. It was a calculation error, not a mechanical problem. Then maybe you should let me do the calculations next time, as well as installing it. Alex, really? Sometimes I think you deliberately misunderstand me. <clears throat> Alex? Why don't you take Gordon along and give him some practice with the gravity gun? Sure. Come on, Gordon. Let's go have some fun. The zero-point energy field manipulator is not a toy, Alex. Ugh. Let's get out of here. So I see you've met Dr. Mossman. She's one of the main reasons I spend so much time outside. You should hear her drone on about how it should have been her in the Black Mesa test chamber that day. <laughs> I'm sorry, I shouldn't be talking behind her back. It just gets a bit claustrophobic down here. That's the old passage to Ravenholm. We don't go there anymore. Come on. So, here we are, the scrapyard. This is a gravity gun my father was talking about. You can call it the zero point energy field manipulator if you really want to. It's designed for handling hazardous materials, but we mainly use it for heavy lifting. Give it a try. The primary trigger emits a charge. You can punch stuff and send it flying. I found it handy for clearing minefields. trigger lets you grab things. You can throw them with the primary. Once you've picked something up, you can drop it gently by pressing your secondary trigger again. Pick up some stuff and toss it. You can also pull stuff over from a distance. Try grabbing those barrels from that ledge up there. All right. All right. Now let me call Dog. He loves to play fetch. Dog! Come! Good dog. 
McGee. Gordon, this is Dog. My dad built him to protect me when I was a kid. First model was about yay high. I've been adding to him ever since. Have a night, boy. Okay, Dog, let's play catch with Gordon. You'll need to use the gravity gun. Go ahead, Dog. Throw! who'd be fighting for that. Okay, Gordon, let's try something else. Dog, throw something bigger. Airlock stuck in a full auto cycle. Is Gordon still with you? He's right here. Good. I want you to. Dad? Take Gordon out of here. Head for the coast. Do not go through rape. Dad? Dad! Damn it! Dog, open the airlock. Get us out of here. Hurry, now! Tear it apart if you have to. Get it open! That's enough, dog.
<laughs> ah, who is this? Another life to save? I'll keep my eye on you. More than that, I cannot promise.
Deleted. <laughs> well done, brother. Make free use of my traps, but take care not to fall in them yourself. Behind you! In Ravenholm, you do well to be vigilant. Father Grigori, you have already met <laughs> my congregation. <laughs>
It is you, brother. I apologize. But no harm done. My bullets are the least of your concern. It is you, brother. I apologize. But no harm done. My bullets are the least of your concerns. Warning. Blood toxin levels detected. <laughs> Although they call me crazy, I care not, for thou art my helper, my strength, and my
come closer. You've stirred up hell, <laughs> man after my own heart. Here, I have a more suitable gun for you. You'll need it. Catch! Good. Now, keep it close. My advice to you is, aim for the head. Hush. They come. There is no rest in Ravenhorn. Move on and I will meet you at the church.
I'll send the cart for you, brother. It will be but a moment. Patience, brother. Guard yourself well.
brother, step into the cart. The handbrake, brother, release it and come down. Greetings, brother. And so we meet at last. You are to be commended for avoiding my traps. Uh, the work of a man who once had too much time on his hands and now finds time for nothing but the work of salvation. I suspect you have little wish to remain in Ravenholm, so I will show you to the mines. As for me, a shepherd must tend to his flock, especially when they have grown <laughs> unruly. Follow me, brother, and tread lightly, for this is hallowed ground. to me, brother. Woe betide thee, child! <laughs> May the light of light be with you! I think no worse of thee! Follow me. Quickly, brother. Yeah. 
while I hold the gate. Farewell, brother. I fear I deliver you to a darker place. May the light of lights illuminate your path. Look to your own salvation. <laughs> Detected. Automatic medical systems engaged. Morphine administration depleted. Detected. Automatic medical systems engaged. Morphine administration depleted. Deleted.
Winston's been hit. Patch him up and get him to the back as soon as he's stable. Gordon Freeman. It's incredible you made it. We've been getting communications from Alex. I'll see if I can reach her again. Follow me. It's Leon. We're all clear. And I've got Gordon Freeman. Dr. Freeman, you're kidding. Look, I've been on the line with Alex. Her father's been captured. Over here, Dr. Freeman. Eli Vance is indispensable to the liberation. Alex, it's Leon, and I've got Gordon Freeman with me. You wanted to take the coast road? You won't last five minutes on foot. It's spawning season for the antlions. That's why I called you, Leon. I was hoping you still had the scout car we left with you last summer. The one my dad rigged with the tow can. Yeah, good idea. Hold on a sec. Narco? Bring the buggy out. Put it on the dock right now. Gordon Freeman will be driving it. Will do. I just finished mounting an ammo crate on the back. Good timing. Okay, Alex, we're all set. Bye, Alex. Okay, Doc. Before you hit the road, you might want to grab some med kits, uh, restock on ammo, maybe check the map, see where you're headed. There's an ammo supply crate on the back of the car, if that's any comfort. Stay with the car, make use of the thumpers. You'll stand a fair chance against the antlions. I'll radio ahead to let the next base know you're coming. Shore point to NLO. Shore point to New Little Odessa. Come in, Odessa. Do you read? Shorepoint to NLO. 